Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Bruce, Bruce Patterson. Today I'm at Islet Lake uh, staging area. I believe it's in the county of Strathcona. Uh, it's about an hour and a half away from where I live. Uh, I haven't been here in oh, a couple of years, I guess. So I decided I'd come here and just do a walk, have a look, see if there's anything worth photographing. Uh, I really like the uh, English bloggers that I uh, follow. They're always referring it to as uh, the woodland. Uh, in Canada, we just refer to it as the bush. It is so overgrown here. It is really hard to find uh, decent compositions. Uh, like for example, we got stuff like this. Uh, fallen trees, uh, lots of trees growing up really thick. It's even hard to walk through in some cases. So hopefully uh, there's going to be a few clearings along here and I'll find something interesting to photograph. So I'm going to keep going along here and we'll check back in when I find something. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, uh, yeah, been hiking around, haven't found much for compositions. However, I did find a group of nice little purple, I'm guessing they're daisies, I don't know what they are, they're flowers of some sort. My expert, my wife in flowers, is not here with me, so uh, I'll get her to identify them, I'll put the actual name on the video, but here I'll give you a look at them. Okay. Yeah, they're just a nice little daisy. I think I'm gonna. So I think I'm gonna set up, do a macro shot of them, and uh, be with you in a minute. Okay. Uh, so here's my setup. As you can see, I got the macro on. I've tried to get on the same plane as the flowers, but a lot of the flowers are a bit further back, and the, and some are closer to the lens so I'm ending up with some of them being blurred which actually looks kind of nice here I'll show you the back of the camera okay so here we are in live view uh, I'm getting reflection over that see if I can come over here and block it out a bit uh, nope okay so anyway here's the back of the camera there's what I'm shooting at. I have uh, 1 20th of a second, F18, ISO 100. I'm using my 105 macro, so 1.8. And so I'm all set. Let's just snap a picture. And there we go, the histogram's looking good. Nothing's clipped in the RGB. Highlights are, well, beautiful. Oh, I like that. That's very nice. Okay. So, uh, that's one shot done. I'm going to continue on and see if I can find something else to uh, take a photograph of around here. Okay, catch you later. Okay, uh, I think I got another composition here. I just have to find out what kind of composition I want to get with it. But I found this old tree stump here just in front of the lake and that. And here, I'll swing around and show you what I'm looking at. So there it is there. And I'm just trying to go around here and get a composition of it. And uh, we'll see. So I'm going to hunt around, see if I can find a decent composition with it, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. All right, I'm set up here. i got to composition this log. I just came around to the side of it and opened up a nice sort of cavity in that, in the, uh, the one face of the log. Uh, so here, I'll show you where I'm set up at. So here we are. And uh, let's go into, we'll go into live view. 
Okay, this is really dark. <laughs> it's awful dark scene right here. Unfortunately, I forgot my filters. So, uh, I basically I can get it all in. Let me up the ISO here so you can see the scene. Okay, so there we are. And I'm gonna focus right on this log here at F8 if the background goes out of it I don't mind too much but uh, and I'm in uh, portrait uh, orientation and now uh, because of my histogram I'm gonna have to move this down so let's go back to 100 ISO and you can see uh, there we are I got okay f8 one two hundredth of a second, ISO 100, and you can see I got two distinct uh, ridges here, one for the sky, the highlights there, and then one for down here. Now this is a dark image, but I should be able to uh, recover it all on Facebook, or in Facebook. I should be able to recover it all in Lightroom. Uh, if I would have had my filters, my ND grads, I could have taken down the sky and had a much better uh, histogram. But unfortunately, I forgot them the other day. I left them at home. So anyway, we'll take this shot. And yeah, looking pretty good. I don't think I've clipped anything in the sky. Ah, just a little bit in the corner there. But uh, I'm just going to have to live with that. I don't want to go too much lower. Well, uh, we could try... Okay, we could try one more stop lower. And try it at 160th and see how that does. Well, it's even more. Sorry, I should have gone a third of a stop higher. Okay, there we are. Okay, we can try uh, a third of a stop higher and we'll go to up to 1 250th. And there, that takes care of the highlights in the sky. So, <clears throat> I should I should be able to recover all the shadows in Lightroom. If not, I can always blend the two pictures together and bring in that sky. So, uh, that one's not bad. So, I'm going to continue on for a bit longer and see what else I can find out here. Okay, talk to you later. continue on with my walk uh, haven't seen anything since that log uh, the trail has actually gone in from the lake a bit so let's we'll see what we get uh, yeah it's starting to cloud over there so hopefully I don't get any rain again I left my rain jacket in the truck so hey I know I'm a smart guy <laughs> uh, it was nice when I left so I figured I'd be okay but uh oh well and the weatherman says it's not supposed to rain today so i'll take him at his word yeah so anyway we'll just continue along here beautiful little area though yeah uh, i don't know how big it is i know it does back up onto elk island national park so but uh yeah, we're coming down to a little clearing here, so maybe I'll get something here. I was kind of hoping for a nice view of the lake, but it uh, doesn't seem like I'm going to get it. Oh well, see how it goes. Yeah, uh, here we are. Just looks like, uh, let's see if there's any compositions in here. Not very really pretty. <laughs> Yeah, I'll swing you around, show you what I'm looking at. Okay, uh, basically this is what we call a slough. Lots of dead wood in it. Uh, might be a composition in there. I would really have to look. 
it's just right now it's just way too cluttered oh, somebody's in there but uh yep yeah. oh well if i can't find anything else i might come back to this one and try a picture actually i might try one right now we'll see how it goes I'll set up, I'll take one shot. I'm just going to probably do it handheld. It's pretty light. So we'll see uh, how it works out. If I get a picture of it that I like, I'll post it. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, uh, yeah, actually... Uh, I ended up finding the composition. I kind of like took a couple of pictures there. Uh, but there's this one log and it had a bunch of uh, moss and plants growing out of it. I took an, I put my uh, 70 to 200 on. So I took a couple of shots of it. So it's not too bad. Looks a little bit busy, but we'll see how it comes out on the computer. But uh, actually I didn't expect to get anything in there. I figured it would be way too busy. Anyway, uh, we'll keep continuing on here, see how things go. I'm still looking for one very really nice shot of the lake before I leave, so hopefully I can get a nice opening again, like still have lots of trees off to the side covering the lake. So I just don't seem to get a good view of the lake at all. But, oh well. That's the way it is. I got a couple of really good shots so far, so we'll see how things work out and if I can come across something else. Okay, well, get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, uh, got a couple of good pictures there, so I got a feeling this is going to be it for today. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to build my channel up and I hope you enjoyed going for a walk with me today. Uh, beautiful little area. I enjoyed it tremendously. Never did get my picture of the lake though. Oh well, it's always another time to come back. Okay, you guys have a good day and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.